Hi parents, it's Elmika Henderson, the school counselor here with a, another parent webinar during this time of distance learning. This one is entitled, How to Check In with Your Kids During Stressful Times. With no school, no playdates, no outings of any sort, um, the world as our kids know it has been thoroughly upended and they are justifiably anxious whether or not they show it. It's up to the adults in the room to get them to open up about those feelings so that they can be addressed and handled properly. Doing so takes finesse, curiosity, and a very light touch. Our job as parents isn't to provide certainty in a time of uncertainty. There's a lot of things that we can't control right now, but our, time, our job in this time is to help the kids tolerate the uncertainty. You know, our kids aren't aren't stupid. You know, they hear us discussing the increasingly dire COVID-19 news. They see the headlines on your computer or your social media feed, and they understand that to a large extent, the stuff that they once enjoyed is no longer kind of at play. They can't go to their friends' houses. They can't travel. Um, and so kind of playing, you know, the scientist isn't really going to help them. You know, kids don't need specific answers. They need a broader kind of degree of certainty that they are loved and they're well taken care of. And so this certitude will help make the ambiguity of, of the moment a little bit more manageable. We wanna teach our kids how to tolerate not knowing. You should let them explain how they're feeling and why. And you can help them validate those feelings by saying things like, you know, I have similar worries. Like let's brainstorm some ideas of how we can make things better. Instead of just giving answers, you want to have a conversation and compare notes. Getting kids, regardless of age, involved in problem solving makes them feel empowered and like they're a part of the solution. But if you ask vague questions, you'll get vague answers, including the dreaded, I'm fine, you know. Um, my advice is to lead with curiosity and ask open-ended yet specific questions. So what did you learn about today? So in distance learning, you may not always be sitting next to them, but possibly ask them about one thing that they've learned or something really interesting that they came across today. What is something interesting or funny you heard about today? What is the most fun thing you did today? What are you most looking forward to tomorrow? What was the toughest part of your day today? What is something you didn't like about your day? What got in the way of today having a fun day? What, what, I'm sorry, what got in the way today of you having a fun day? What can we do together to make it better? Or I read something interesting today and I wanted to know if you had a reaction to it. So any of these questions, they don't have to happen during distance learning. This can also happen when we're back in school or just even over the summer that you want to kind of check in with them and kind of close out the day with them. But as with most things in life, timing is everything. You know, bedtime might not be the right time to start, you know, talking to them. You know, kids are winding down at the end of the day. If your kids are anxious, they may have more worries at night. So don't lead them down the path of more worry by trying to talk to them, you know, in the evenings. Um, also, it might not be a good idea to talk, talk to them about this when they first wake up. You know, try to find a neutral time when there hasn't been a big argument or look for a calm moment. You know, I suggest having laid back discussions either during dinner or while you're taking a walk. Um, and there is a very simple and, and kind of clever approach that I like to do with some of my counseling kids. And um, we kind of call it, you know, the rose. So the petal is tell me something that you liked about today. The thorn is tell me something you didn't like about today. And the bud is tell me something you're looking forward to. So if your children aren't able to articulate how they're feeling, you can also use a feelings chart. Oh, there it is. Um, you can also use a feelings chart and, and work your way from there, asking them how they're feeling, um, getting them to kind of point out the different feelings that they're having um, and just kind of work your way out to, you know, work your way from there. 
there are some five-year-olds that can explain with total clarity, like what upended their emotions and why. Um, some teens, meanwhile, may barely manage a two-word response and won't dig deeper without some gentle prodding. So you want to have children be as specific as possible about what exactly they're feeling, but you don't want to, to push them too much. So try to stay, you know, we want to help kids kind of stay in the moment, you know. Um, it's just as applicable to kids as it is to, you know, their adult minders, you know, don't spin out, don't catastrophize. You want to remind the kids that, you know, no, your friends aren't having secret sleepovers or going to the playground without you, that everyone is kind of, we're all stuck at home together. Um, and just reminding them that, you know, we're staying home so that we'll be able to go out later. Um, we want to help the kids stay in the moment. And so it's easy for them to get wrapped up in the unknown. Um, and we all know what's, you know, it's all happening to us right now. So we have each other, we're connected to our friends. And so let's focus on that. You know, we'll deal with tomorrow, tomorrow. Um, that's a really good lesson to kind of, um, a really good statement to say to kids, like, you know, we all know what's happening right now in this moment. Like, let's let's worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. OK. And that is the end of my presentation. You know, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I appreciate those of you who, you know, come back and and reach out to me and let me know that um, these webinars have been helpful for you. Um, if at any time you need me, you know, my email is here, um, but I also have parent office hours that are on a platform called Doxy. Um, so it's every Wednesday. I log into Doxy. You can come in and wait in the waiting room if someone is there. If not, so it's just like if you were to come to the school and I was with someone, you know, you would just kind of hang out and wait until you're able to um, meet with me. But as always, you know, um, if you need anything, please let me know. Um, I'm here for you all as we continue to push through the final few weeks of school. Um, but if there is nothing else, I appreciate you all um, tuning in and I hope you stay safe and be well. Bye-bye.